So Sonic Origins was originally revealed at the Sonic Central event that took place almost a full year ago, and in that same event we also got the first look at Sonic Frontiers, which has since then gotten a trailer. And also since then, Sonic Movie 2 came out. So that just begs the question, where the frick is Sonic Origins? Because we literally know nothing about this game besides that original reveal. What we know so far is that it's a collection of Sonic 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, and CD with widescreen HD and some other additions that we don't know about yet. The reveal said that we would get more info later in 2021, but it was confirmed later on that we would get news in early 2022 instead, but it still hasn't happened. Now, Sonic Origins is only a compilation of classic Sonic games. There's no way it's going through this much trouble, right? That we literally know nothing about the game. It could be because they are fully remaking the games and adding new features, but Sonic 1, 2, and CD already have official widescreen ports. And if they're just adding new features, then it shouldn't be taking as long as it already is. They could be having trouble getting Sonic 3 to work in widescreen, but it's unlikely because it was so easy to get all the other games in widescreen, why would it take the extra effort to get Sonic 3 and Knuckles in widescreen? Another thing, Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited and other ROM hacks of Sonic 3 have gotten Sonic 3 to work in widescreen just fine. So there's no way that Sega themselves are having issues getting it to work. It could also be because of Sonic 3 having difficulties, because of some of the OST licensing. We all know by now that Sonic 3's music had some involvement with Michael Jackson, and since then Sega has been having trouble with the rights to the music. That could be one of the reasons why it's taking so long to hear anything about this game. But on the other hand, there was a PC port of Sonic 3 and Knuckles that replaced the music that Michael Jackson had involvement with, and replaced them with other music that, to be honest, of course it wasn't as good, but it wasn't anything horrible, so they could just use that music if they wanted to. It could also be because of Sonic Movie 2 and Frontier's hype. Maybe they're just waiting for the Sonic Movie 2 hype to die down, but... Let's just think about this for a second. This game was supposed to release in early 2022, so I doubt it's because of the movie. But since the movie just came out, they're waiting for the movie to die down, basically. Maybe they're just waiting. So Sonic Origins won't interfere with the attention that Sonic Movie 2 is getting. And this is another thing they could also, but this is kind of a stretch, they could want to release it to coincide with Sonic Frontiers, kind of similar how they did with Mania and Forces. But even then, we would have at least gotten a trailer now, right? Again, we've gotten absolutely nothing about this game. It's only a collection of old games with little to no improvements done to them. So there's really no reason why we shouldn't have at least a single confirmation that this game is still happening by now. Speaking of new additions, they could simply be taking more time to add more classic games to the collection like Sonic Spinball, Mean Beam Machine, and even Knuckles Chaotix. But this isn't very likely in my opinion. All these games are not as good as Sonic 1, 2, 3, and CD. So when will we get news? I guess that's the only question to ask now, and to be honest, I mean, there are some possibilities. We could very well have to wait until June for both Sonic Frontiers and Origins news. We still don't have Sonic Frontiers gameplay and we might have to wait until E3 time for gameplay on Sonic Origins and Sonic Frontiers. But the thing is, E3 was recently cancelled, but we could see something at Summer Games Fest since that's still happening. We already saw Sonic Frontiers pretty recently at the Game Awards, so maybe we could see something at Summer Games Fest, but I feel like if they really wanted to, they would show us something before then. And that's when I bring up another thing. Sonic Central event. It was around May last year when they showed the first Sonic Central event, and that's when we got the confirmation for Origins and Frontiers, along with Colors Ultimate, but that's irrelevant. They could host another Sonic Central event where they show both Origins and Frontiers news. Heck, a trailer could even drop right after this video releases, and then I'll look like an idiot. Sonic Origins should not be taking this long to get any news. Heck, the game should probably be released right now. This game was revealed almost a full year ago and we still know absolutely nothing about this collection. Way too long to wait for a collection of games. Super Mario 3D All-Stars was announced a whopping two weeks before it released in a Mario 35th Anniversary Direct. Two weeks we had to wait for Mario 3D All-Stars. Of course, it was rumored beforehand, but still, we didn't have to wait that long. We shouldn't be waiting almost a full year for anything in general about a collection of old games. Now, there was recently a tweet made by Xbox, 
that showed an image of, I think it's Sonic 2. It's a little video of Sonic drowning. What people pointed out is that this could very well be footage from Origins. And okay, it could be. It shows the ESRB rating in the corner. So this could be Origins. This could be our first look at Origins. But even then, it's really nothing. We already have HD widescreen ports of Sonic 1 and 2 and CD, albeit with CD the only one being released on PC and other consoles. But they still exist for Sonic 1 and 2. So this could be footage from one of those. But again, they could just be wanting to focus on other things for now, since the Sonic Movie 2 just came out, and that's had a lot of success so far. And Frontiers as well! Frontiers has a lot of hype around it as well, and maybe they want to drop some Origins news before Sonic Frontiers releases. And we still know nothing about Sonic Prime either. So maybe they are saving all this for a Sonic Central event, but we'll just have to wait and find out. So that's going to go ahead and end it off for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about Sonic Origins. Do you think we should have at least gotten a trailer by now, or even a full release? And when do you think they'll finally show this game off? We've been waiting a really long time for this. But with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.